A $4.3 billion transformation is underway at Kuwait International Airport, turning it into a global transit hub. The new Terminal 2 spans 0.75 square kilometers, featuring a bold trefoil-shaped design with three wings extending 1.2 kilometers each. The terminal's ultra-modern baggage system can process nearly 3,000 bags per hour, while beneath the surface, a 3-kilometer utility tunnel powers operations. Inside, 8,000 skylights strategically filter natural light, reducing energy consumption. But here's the kicker. The terminal's roof is so massive that it's built without expansion joints, something never seen before. And, to top it off, the entire building is designed to adapt to extreme temperature fluctuations, ensuring both energy efficiency and passenger comfort. But how do you construct a terminal of this scale while balancing extreme temperatures, energy efficiency, and passenger comfort? And also, what hidden innovations make this one of the most advanced airport projects in the world? Kuwait International Airport had long served as the country's gateway to the world, but as passenger numbers skyrocketed, cracks in its infrastructure began to show. In just 15 years, annual traffic surged from 5 million to over 15 million, and projections suggest that by 2025, the airport would be handling an astonishing 25 million passengers a year. Could the existing facilities keep up with this explosive growth? The answer was clear, not without a major transformation. The airport, originally designed for a much smaller capacity, was struggling under the weight of demand. Overcrowded terminals, longer wait times, a frustrating experience. The expectations of modern travelers, seamless check-ins, swift security lines, and world-class amenities were clashing with an infrastructure that simply wasn't built for this scale. Kuwait needed more than just a quick fix, it needed a bold, future-proof solution. That's where the airport's massive expansion plan came in. Rather than merely expanding existing facilities, this project set out to completely redefine the airport experience. At its core was Terminal 2, a state-of-the-art hub designed for 25 million passengers annually, with room for future growth. More than increasing capacity, it aimed to elevate Kuwait's status as a major aviation center. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, sustainable design, and world-class services, every aspect was optimized for efficiency. Streamlined immigration, an advanced baggage system, and a seamless fusion of Kuwaiti culture with modern luxury promised travelers an unparalleled journey from arrival to departure. So, how does a country take an airport bursting at the seams and transform it into a world-class facility? And what groundbreaking innovations will make this vision a reality? Construction kicked off in May 2017, with a sprawling 0.75 square kilometer site set to become a facility that would redefine what an airport terminal could be. So, what made this terminal stand out? Its striking trefoil-shaped design, where three symmetrical wings extend outward, each reaching 1.2 kilometers. But the shape isn't the only remarkable feature. These wings converge into a breathtaking central space that soars 25 meters in height, creating an atmosphere of openness, elegance, and grandeur that immediately grabs the attention of anyone stepping through its doors. But building something of this scale requires cutting-edge engineering solutions and meticulous planning. One feature that truly captures the imagination is the roof, an architectural marvel spanning an astonishing 320,000 square meters. But how did they manage to achieve this? The roof was designed without expansion joints, a daunting challenge that required advanced digital modeling techniques to ensure structural integrity while keeping its sleek, seamless appearance. Stretching up to 145 meters, the cantilever extends 50 meters, casting natural shade on the entrance plaza. The result? A terminal that not only looks stunning, but also provides a cool, shaded environment for arriving passengers. And yet, with Kuwait's extreme climate, how could such a structure withstand the sweltering heat? With summer temperatures often exceeding 50 degrees Celsius, conventional construction materials just wouldn't cut it. 
But the engineers were prepared. They incorporated heat-resistant materials and designed a high-performance thermal envelope that helps keep the building cool. The facade, protected by a 60-meter cantilever, significantly reduces solar heat gain, easing the burden on cooling systems and ensuring the terminal remains energy efficient over the long term. Inside the terminal, passenger comfort was a top priority. How could such a large space be comfortable under such extreme conditions? An advanced HVAC network was integrated to provide a consistently pleasant environment, no matter how hot it got outside. These systems were designed to work in harmony with the terminal's energy-saving goals. The terminal also lets in natural light, with 8,000 strategically placed skylights embedded in the roof. These skylights filter out harsh sunlight, letting in soft, diffused light that illuminates the interior, creating a modern, sustainable, and welcoming atmosphere. What was the secret behind the project's smooth execution? Building Information Modeling BIM, played a crucial role in coordinating the various teams involved in the construction. With over 800 individual BIM models, this technology ensured precise planning, clash detection, and optimized resource management. The result? Seamless collaboration across teams, both locally and globally, ensuring that the terminal was constructed on schedule despite its vast complexity. And what about the materials used in the construction? How did they contribute to the terminal's sustainability goals? A significant portion of the materials came from regional suppliers, ensuring the use of recycled or rapidly renewable resources. This not only reduced transportation emissions, but also minimized the use of finite resources, making the construction process as eco-friendly as possible. Even the foundations of Terminal 2 were designed with precision, a 3-kilometer utility tunnel was built to transport essential services like cooling and energy from the central plant building to the terminal. Spanning 7 meters wide and 5.5 meters high, this tunnel is a testament to the scale of the engineering efforts that have gone into the project, ensuring smooth operations for decades to come. How do you blend cutting-edge technology with a deep commitment to environmental responsibility? Terminal 2 does it seamlessly, aiming for LEED Gold certification, a first for airport terminals in the region. This achievement sets a bold new standard for airport design, incorporating renewable energy, resource efficiency, and state-of-the-art systems that enhance both its environmental and operational performance. One of the most striking innovations is the terminal's roof, which hosts over 81,000 photovoltaic panels. These panels generate nearly 50 gigawatt hours of electricity annually, covering approximately 10% of the terminal's energy needs. What's even more remarkable is the terminal's high-performance thermal envelope. By utilizing thermal mass and superior insulation, it reduces heat transfer, keeping cooling systems running efficiently even under the scorching Kuwaiti summer heat. Together, these measures help achieve a 27% reduction in energy consumption compared to similar buildings, underscoring the project's dedication to sustainability. But energy isn't the only consideration. Water is equally important. With the world facing increasing water shortages, Terminal 2 takes its role seriously by reducing potable water consumption by 45%. How is this done? by incorporating low-flow fixtures and innovative recycling systems. Gray water collected from sinks is treated and reused for irrigation and toilet flushing, ensuring every drop is put to good use. The landscaping features native, drought-tolerant desert plants creating a welcoming environment while minimizing the strain on local water resources. This sustainable approach also helps reduce the heat island effect, keeping the surrounding area cooler and more comfortable. Now, when it comes to technology, Terminal 2 doesn't disappoint. The advanced baggage handling system spans a remarkable 6 kilometers and can process up to 2,930 bags per hour. This system is equipped with high-speed sorters and state-of-the-art screening equipment, ensuring luggage is processed efficiently and securely. With 120 check-in desks designed to minimize queues and optimize passenger flow, Terminal 2 ensures a smooth experience from start to finish. But what about the passenger experience? 
Fixed link bridges and intuitive wayfinding systems make navigating from check-in to boarding a breeze, offering an extra layer of convenience for travelers. And connectivity? That's a top priority. With new access roads and a planned metro line, the terminal is seamlessly integrated into Kuwait's transportation network, ensuring smooth transit to and from the airport. Inside, clear signage, spacious walkways, and efficient security checkpoints make it easy for passengers to move through the terminal with ease. Taken together, these technological and environmental innovations position Terminal 2 as a model for modern airports, one that combines sustainability with a superior passenger experience. By dramatically increasing passenger capacity, the terminal solidifies Kuwait's position as a key gateway in the Gulf. But how exactly will this impact the region? The answer lies in more airlines, more routes, and an increase in tourism and trade that will ripple throughout the country. Thousands of jobs were created during the construction phase, helping to develop the local workforce and boost the economy. But what happens once the terminal is up and running? The long-term benefits include steady employment opportunities in aviation, hospitality, and retail. More passengers will mean more demand for services, from hotels to restaurants, sparking economic activity in numerous sectors. This project sets the stage for future infrastructure developments in the region, pushing the envelope on sustainable design and energy conservation. As the new terminal prepares to welcome millions of passengers, with the target operation date set for 2025 or 2026, it's clear that Kuwait is shaping the future of aviation. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates.